guys welcome to my channel and happy almost valentine's now i know i've been doing the euphoria makeup series but if you watched the last episode um you will see that there wasn't really many makeup looks there was lexi's look that was beautiful but then there's also valentine's coming up and i was just like why don't i make a valentine's look for now hold off on the euphoria until everyone gets their stuff together on that show like the characters, not the actual show. The people who make the show are amazing. But the characters in the show for them to get their stuff together. So I made this look. Which I think is one of my favorite date looks. I think that you should go on a date and let this person know that you love Valentine's. So they better give you and treat you amazing on Valentine's. So that they know that you're festive. And that you're ready for everything that Valentine has to offer, aka love. So they treat you with love and respect as they should, even if they don't love you, you know. But like, you know, like I feel like this makeup look will set high standards. Like it'll be like, oh, Valentine's who? I already have all of Valentine's I need on my face. So you better step up your game, you know? If I was going on a date, which I'm not, but I am going, like, out this weekend, so maybe I'll wear this out, um, I would wear something like this, because, why not? The little hearts. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Alright, so I just fixed the lighting. I hope it looks good, but it looks like it doesn't look good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it on the eyes. My dog is barking, but I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to go on with my item beauty in my element palette. I'm going to go on with my item beauty in my element palette. And I'm going to go ahead and go with a nice transition shade. I'm going to start with this one right here, actually. It's more of a mauve shade. I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to kind of create... I'm going to create the shape of like a winged liner going out and I know my skin looks absolutely horrible I'm so sorry okay and now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a thinner um, blending brush I'm gonna go in with the shade Starship which is right next to it which is a lot darker and I'm just gonna kind of pat some color on this outer part Very lightly, just like that. And then I'm gonna blend it. I'm just gonna keep doing that like two or three times until I get a nice shade. Leave down below what you're doing for Valentine's. I wanna see. So I am super excited. My best friend, one of my best friends, is getting married. I'm so excited. So this whole weekend, I don't know, it's just going to be so much fun. Um, we're having the bachelorette type stuff, so I might use this makeup look even for one of the days. Who knows? Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with that same shade, but I'm going to go with an even smaller little packing brush. I'm going to start packing that color on. And I'm going to keep my eye open while I wing this out. So I can be kind of more precise of where I want it to be. Just like that. So that's the little wing. And then we're going to blend it, obviously. I'm going to take that same exact brush. No, I'm not. I'm going to take a flat shaded brush. And I'm going to go in with this white looking shade called Lunar Eclipse. I'm going to go on this inner part. And just go like that. Just get it nice and matte. I love matte eyeshadow looks. But then I also love shimmer. But I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my blending brush. And I'm going to go with an even darker brown. Ooh, my ears are ringing. Oh. And take this shade, this brown one right there. And I'm going to create another little line 
just like that and again we're gonna blend it out and then I'm probably just gonna go with the black super fast and do the same exact thing okay I look like I just got punched in the eye but that looks good okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take oh my god the ringing is back okay Whatever. I'm gonna ignore it I'm gonna ignore the ringing I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat little liner brush I'm going to go into my inner corner with that dark brown. I'm going to create an inner corner little wing, just like that. Same thing on the other side. And now with that same little brush that I was using to create kind of a line, I'm going to... And then with that same little pencil brush, I'm going to create a fake little line. shadow right there I don't know if you guys can see that kind of like it's going downwards like a little kitty cat and I'm just using whatever's left over on the brush already all right so I just recorded me talking and it didn't record but I'm gonna go ahead and contour my upper lip because it looks like I have no lips right now. Let me do that for real. Taking like a sienna color. Not sienna me. And then whatever's left, I'm going to actually contour just the tip of my nose just a little bit. It's going to look a little crazy, but just like that. Because it's all about contour. We're making our face look like Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff to make my face look a lot more fun and festive because although this is beautiful and sultry, I want to look like I know it's Valentine's Day. Alright? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little rhinestones. I was going to use red, but I'm not feeling that. So I'm going to use these little purple ones, the very, very tiny ones right here. And then I'm going to use these little sparkles that I got that are little heart sparkles. And I'm just going to kind of, I think, put them on this inner part and then maybe put like a heart under each eye. So far, that is the plan. So I'm just going to dot kind of random around here. Just like that. If you can see. So just like that. Very kind of uneven. I actually think I want to bring this one lower. Okay, so just like that, and then I'm going to go in with the crystals, much easier to place. I'm just going to kind of fill in this area. Okay, so those are all the crystals and the sparkles on the inner corner, just like that. I absolutely love it and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Alright, so I have both sides on and I kind of want to create that little lower lash line heart. And I'm just going to use one of the bigger hearts in my heart glitters because these are the tiny ones. And then I have some bigger ones. So I'm just going to place it right here. Straight in the middle. I literally got up to get my mascara and all of the glitters just fell on the floor. So I was literally getting up so I can get the ones off of my palette. I have a bunch on the desk too. Now I have a bunch on the floor. Alright, so mascara's on. I'm obviously going to put some falsies because my upper lashes aren't the most voluptuous. But first I'm going to go ahead and put on some blush I'm gonna use this BH cosmetics blush but I'm gonna just kind of stick to that very pinky shade right there and I'm gonna make it look like I'm blushing like whatever the like if you're going on a date and the person like, you want to make them think that they're making you blush hopefully they are hopefully they actually are making you blush but you know just be like oh, you're so funny and cute you know, but hopefully they are actually making blush. 
that's hope that's all you can hope for so i'm just gonna add a good amount of that because it is valentine's a nice valentine's look and now i'm gonna go ahead and add the falsies so i'm using these rem beauty lashes that are pretty intense but i think that they work good they add the you know the very intense vibe that i'm looking for i know i haven't done um eyebrows but i'm gonna go ahead and move on to lips just because we're gonna do the eyebrows in a second i'm just gonna line with a nude lip liner and go over those places that we contour just to make sure that they're set and contoured I use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk number two, and then I also used the Rimmel London Lip Long Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Tiramisu. Okay, and I'm just going to get my little strands of hair out, and I'm going to make my hair look a little bit better, and then we're gonna finish off with gloss and eyebrows, and then we'll be done. So for eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, which is like their little brow gel situation thing that they have. Situation. My brain is fried, so leave me alone. I'm just gonna brush them up. Obviously, that looks crazy, but we're gonna we're gonna get this situated. Now I'm going to finish off with gloss because I feel like if you're going on a date, your lipstick is probably going to cut them off anyways. So I feel like it's nice to just have something kind of simple and then you can reapply really easily. So I'm just going to reapply gloss. I'm just putting on this Item Beauty lip gloss, which is my favorite lip gloss ever in the world. It does have a little bit of a pink color, so if you don't want it as pink, you can definitely, you know keep a nude shade underneath but alrighty so this is the completed look I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video